Hi, my name is Michael Martis. Uh, I work with Virtue Audio. Uh, a lot of you may know me from my website uh, about uh, T amps, tripath amplifiers, the old Sonic Impact amplifier. I just happened upon these amplifiers on the web. I got interested in them because people said they sounded so great, they sound like tube amplifiers, and they don't cost much money. So I said, okay, I got to give that a try. So I was designing some other amplifiers when Virtue and Seth at Virtue approached me to help him on a design and I was a little bit involved in the beginning of the design. He took my ideas and incorporated those and then he, uh, he got uh, another engineer who's a really good guy, a good, good audiophile with a great ear, um, who works for the company called Audience and uh, that's Roger Shecker, uh, who we see here on the poster. And Roger took the design uh, from what was existing and really extended it and did a lot with it. So he designed this, he gave this thing its sound, basically. Uh, the way it sounds, the reason it sounds so good is because of Roger. He did a lot of work on this, uh, picking out different components, different filter things, inductors, capacitors, resistors, all to blend together to give the sound, the really great sound that this thing has. It's very small, as you can see, but we do about 40 watts per channel into 8 ohms. Uh, it can also run into a 3 ohm load. And this is a, a tripath based amplifier. And the tripath is a chip, the controller chip. It's a class D amplifier. And that means it's a switching amplifier. So instead of the regular amplifier that amplifies in a linear way, what this does is it chops up the signal at a very high rate, anywhere from uh, uh, 800,000 to a million times per second, it's chopping it up. And what that does is allow the transistor to work as a switch, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. And a transistor is really good at doing that. It's very efficient. It's about 85% efficient, so we don't waste a lot of energy and heat. That's uh, one of the things that makes it economical to run, but it also makes it small. I mean, you can see there's not much. The, the little chips are right under here. And being small has other advantages. It has advantages in audio quality because all the components are tight. They're on the same chip. It's a very simple amplifier, as you can see. Um, here's your speaker connectors. These are the great uh, propeller posts that were invented by Seth Krensky, who is our CEO. Uh, he invented these. These are great uh, binding posts. You can use straight wire. You can wrap, wrap wire around them, put a wire through the post. These are great. It's very simple. You've just got two inputs, uh, left and right, and then a sub-output. Uh, this is actually a buffered output, so it's separated, it's buffered from the, from the amp and from the, uh, from the volume control. Uh, so this is a great way to drive your sub if you want to. And then the front, now you can see this one's naked. I mean, you know, we're in Vegas, so we've taken the clothes off of this one here. <laughs> so, um, it normally it's got a shell on it. You'll probably see some pictures of the shell. But you just got a volume control. You got this big silver knob, which is volume, and you got to on and off, and uh, that's it. I mean, it doesn't get more complicated than that. You hook in your, you plug in your CD player, iPod, radio, whatever you got. You hook in your speakers, turn it on and off, turn the volume goes up and down, and that's basically it. You've got music. So the thing is, I mean, what other amplifier do you know that comes in red, white, and blue, as well as yellow and black? The paint is a special paint. It's a, it's a matte finish. It's not a shiny finish. It doesn't really show fingerprints. Uh, it integrates well. Uh, it's just got a classy look. They're heavy. You can't tell on video, but they are. it's a heavy amp. People pick them up. They're really surprised at how heavy they are. Now, if you just want this as uh, sort of a deluxe desktop system, you know, you want to listen to really great tunes on your computer, yeah, that's fine. But it can drive a huge system. I mean, we have we have giant speakers here that this thing's driving and these are these are twenty thousand dollar speakers and this amp is up to par with speakers of this level and it's an inexpensive small as you can see it's an inexpensive amplifier it starts at two hundred and fifty dollars goes up to about three hundred and fifty dollars depending on the option. Two hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty dollars yeah that's the base price and then goes up to about three hundred fifty four hundred dollars depending on what options different power supplies, that sort of thing. So you don't have to spend a lot. You don't have to spend a fortune to get great sound. And I think we're trying to bring in a new generation of audiophiles, uh, people who are not used to or not conscious of 
high-end audio uh, and show that, yeah, there is a difference. It does sound better. Uh, you can get away from the black boxes that you would buy at a mass market store. This stuff really does sound better and it'll let you enjoy the music a lot more. Oh, my God.